Hi my loves, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Uh, so today's video is gonna be a wash day video. I got some new products to share with y'all. Gonna be trying out the Viral Revlon 2-in-1 blow dryer, volumizer, whatever the heck it is. Wanna do a first impression video on that. So let's just jump right into it. So for today's shampoo and conditioner, I am using the Lucida, Lucetta, not quite sure how to pronounce it. It's their Jamaican black castor oil shampoo and conditioner. Y'all, when I tell y'all I literally, y'all know I don't fall in love with products that easily, nor do I even try new products that often. But this stuff is amazing. So I recently went through all of my old products and got rid of everything that had sulfates in it and parabens and things that were just really harmful to my hair. Um, and those were honestly some of my favorite products. But I am currently super focused on the health of my hair, so those products just had to go. So I was researching, looking for some good products to try, and I randomly just came across this brand on Amazon. Hadn't heard of it before. Um, I honestly just was reading the reviews. They had really great reviews, and so I was like, let me try it. Um, so when the product arrived, it came in super cute pack. By the way, guys, this video is not sponsored. But yeah, so the product arrived in super cute packaging. And the first time I used it, I instantly fell in love with the shampoo and conditioner. Um, even though it has Jamaican black castor oil in it, it does not weigh my hair down, which y'all know is a plus for me. It leaves my hair, the shampoo leaves my hair feeling super clean, no residue is left. The conditioner, I can literally use the entire bottle and my hair will still not be weighed down. Um, I've noticed it gives my hair like a really nice shine. It smells good. Plus, it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, and a bunch of other benefits to this product. So, um, I was just super excited to share this with y'all because y'all know I don't try new stuff often. And I hate being disappointed when I do try new things. So, I was just super excited that I finally found um, some safe and, and products that are good for my hair that I actually love as well. Um, so after I applied the, I washed my hair twice, by the way, um, and then I went in with my conditioner. I like to just comb through the conditioner with a wide tooth comb. Y'all never use a rat tail comb or a fine tooth comb to comb through your hair. I'm sure a lot of the natural hair girlies know that already, but if you don't, just want to put that out there. Um, just going to comb through my hair and then immediately wash the conditioner back out. I don't like to let conditioner sit in my hair. So seriously, y'all go grab these products. They are extremely worth it I can't remember how much they were I got mine from Amazon but I think they were reasonably priced I don't remember them being overly expensive um, I just I love it so much so just wanted to um, share my new wash day products with y'all and we're gonna get into the rest of this video So quick disclaimer about this video, I didn't realize until I was completely done with filming that my audio was super, super, super trash. Don't know what's going on with my mic, but had to record a voiceover because I didn't want to completely scrap this video and film it over. So that's why I'm talking on camera, but my words ain't matching up, girl. Just act like you ain't even noticed that. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to be reviewing the Viral Revlon 2-in-1. I guess it's like a blow dryer volumizer. And I wanted to do a first impressions video, which is why I really wanted to record myself like actually talking about this live, but it is what it is. It didn't work out. Um, I am using my Olaplex bonding oil as my heat protectant. Y'all drop some good recommended heat protectants in the comments below. I have not been able to find one that I actually like. Please do not mention anything that will leave my hair feeling super greasy and oily. Y'all know how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start to use this tool, use this product. I don't want to give it away. So I, I'm not, I'm just going to wait and let <laughs> this part play out, um, before I give y'all my opinions and tell y'all what I think. 
Okay, so let's figure out how this thing even works. It's a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. Um, I honestly saw that everybody said the same thing with all the reviews. I think there's three settings from what I can remember. Sorry, I'm not looking at it right now as I record this voice over. But it's like cool, low, and high. I obviously used high, you know, because I just like to um, melt my scalp off. <laughs> But I can honestly say this doesn't really get as hot as a regular blow dryer in my opinion. I had to read the instructions because I'm like, baby, am I using this the right way? Like, what's, what's up? What's tea? Because this ain't, this ain't really getting the job done, y'all. But you know what? Maybe this is my fault. Maybe I misunderstood the purpose of this. Based on all the TikTok videos and stuff, I really thought this was supposed to eliminate the flat iron step, but I don't think that's the case. And if it is, it's not the case for my hair type and texture. I'm going to just let y'all know that right now because this ain't, this ain't doing nothing. It's not working for me, sis. I don't know. Do you, have y'all tried this? Like, am I using it wrong? I mean, there's only three settings on there, so I feel like it's not rocket science to figure it out, but... I don't know why I'm not getting the same results as I saw everybody else achieve on TikTok. Like, and the thing is, my hair ain't even really all that thick. I mean, it is, but it's also like fine. So I, I feel like if this don't work on my hair type, then um, yeah, this is gotta be catered to a um, specific type of texture because this is not working out for me, but I say, you know what, I'm going to just keep going because maybe it's going to shock me in the end. Maybe that's when the best results are going to come. So um, I'm just going to keep going throughout the rest of my head. I feel like even though it doesn't get as hot as a regular blow dryer, I can definitely see how you could achieve more heat damage using it. It just takes longer. Like... I literally could have been done with my entire head by now if I would have used my regular normal blow dryer. But anyways, let's just keep going and see what kind of results we're going to get once we're all done. Now, you know what? Y'all, what is this? What? Revlon, what is this? Okay. What was going on? What's happening here? Literally, it's a no for me. This did not work. It did not do anything. I know it's really hard for y'all to see on camera, but the middle part of my head was so thick and just not blow dry. Yeah. This was a fail. I do not recommend this product. Um, if you have a hair type that's anything like mine or thicker, I don't know what kind of magic the girlies on TikTok was pulling. Um, I will say when I was searching for this product on Amazon, I did see a new and improved one, but I just went with the one that had the most reviews. So maybe I needed the new and improved one uh but yeah nah it ain't work for me so i had to go back through with my old faithful this is a con air Sil silver bird blow dryer that is a tongue twister silver bird silver blow <laughs> what this is my con air silver bird blow dryer that i got from sally's of course it'll be linked below but i had to go through with this in order to press my hair out which we are still gonna do still gonna give y'all the whole wash day uh routine for my natural hair so um and honestly you can just tell the difference with this like how much sleeker my hair gets so yeah i like really want to know am i tripping have y'all used that revlon whatever the heck that is before 
and also too so there was some kind of mist i think that goes hand in hand i mean it's not soaked with the the blow dryer volumizer whatever they call it but i honestly thought it was just like a heat protectant and that you didn't need it maybe you're supposed to use it in conjunction with the two-in-one blow dryer i maybe maybe that's what i'm missing i think i am just so thrown off and so shocked because literally everybody i saw on tiktok used this like it Oh, I was impressed on TikTok, but baby, not in person. So anyways, we're going to move on from that, continue to blow dry our hair, and then going to go in with my flat iron and press my hair out straight. Okay, so if you watched this natural hair video of mine where I talked about my breakage and my dandruff, um, then you know that this side of my hair is pretty badly broken off. I feel like it's starting to grow out a little bit. I'm going to insert a clip so I can see a comparison of a few months ago versus today. But I'm going to do an update video to my dandruff issue, my breakage issue, just so y'all can kind of know where that's at. But um, 
yeah that side of my hair is or was pretty badly broken off like i said it's growing out a bit but we still have a little ways to go And boom here's what we're working with still have a little ways to go to get my hair back to its healthiest state there is definitely a cut looming in the really close future I just feel it coming I feel like there's no point in number one I definitely need my ends clipped it's been a very long time and when your hair is broken off there is no point in holding on to uneven hair now I'm not saying I'm gonna cut my hair all the way up to where it's broken off at, but it just needs to be leveled out a bit. Like I just, I don't know, hair will grow back. It's just hair. I have never been one to hold on to my hair. Y'all know that. So I just wanna get it back to its healthiest state. Cause right now it looks, that's the thing about my hair too. So for my last natural hair video, when I was talking about my breakage and my thinning, I had a few people comment and say, girl, what are you talking about? I don't see anything, your hair looks fine. My texture has its own natural shine. So I feel like that's what makes it look healthy. But I know my hair really well. Um, I know when it's thinning, I know when something's off, I know when it's not healthy. And right now it's just, it's not healthy. Does that make sense? Like, I know it has a, a nice shine, but it's not healthy to me. I am actually so upset that my original audio is so trash, but I guess I'll just try to sum up here everything I was saying. So I was just saying that I recognize all of the new subscribers that I've gotten lately and that makes me really happy because I feel like for a long time or for a, a period of time rather, my channel felt stagnant. It felt like I wasn't really growing, not a ton of new subscribers, but I can honestly say during that time, I wasn't really that focused on being consistent. Even though I'm not super consistent now, I am a little bit more aware of um you know the platform that i have and i really do enjoy producing hair content i'm so glad that i got out of my funk of feeling like i needed to fit in and like i needed to create vlogs and you know things that i didn't necessarily want to do in order to get youtube to start promoting my videos again but i stay true to what i wanted to do which is hair content i love all things hair so um thank you guys so much to all of my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel and of course all of my old subscribers thank you guys so much as well y'all know i love you and because i have so many subscribers y'all leave a comment below and let me know what type of hair content you would like to see from me um just a few disclaimers i don't wear wigs i don't wear closures i don't wear lace so you'll never see me do those but I'm pretty much open to everything else so thank you guys so much oh make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you're sure to see my videos whenever I upload and that you don't miss out on my uploads um, but yeah as always thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video